my next tutorial which is based on pulse width modulation so uh, before I start my tutorial I would like to thank each and every one of you for your great 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 support for me uh, there have been people commenting on my videos asking me doubts and clarifications and uh, subscribing my channel so thanks a lot for your support and encouragement so uh, today I have a tutorial based on pulse width modulation uh, to control the DC motor speed basically to accelerate and decelerate a DC motor so uh, to start with I'll uh, give a small introduction a, a basic overview about what is a pulse width modulation in case if you guys are not aware of it so pulse width modulation is nothing but uh, a method to control the uh, output pulse to your uh, device so basically we control the width of the output pulse or uh, the, the duration of the output pulse when I say output pulse is nothing but a voltage output which can be of a, a certain amplitude so as you can see here what we mentioned by a duty cycle is nothing but the duration of my uh, output uh, you know width of my output pulse in the entire cycle so when I say 25 percentage of duty cycle that means uh, when my cycle starts from here till and ends here that means let's say this duration is 5 millisecond then my output pulse would be for 1 millisecond and the remaining 4 millisecond my output would be low so duty cycle basically tells you the you know the percentage of your output value is high and the percentage of output value is low so when I say 50 percentage of duty cycle uh, half of the time of my entire cycle will be my output will be high and the remaining half my output will be low and when I say 100 percentage duty cycle my output would be high throughout the cycle that means you look you'll get a constant output value so this is ba this is the basic idea of pulse width modulation so as the length of them as the length of my pulse or as as the width of my output pulse increases the more will be the speed of the motor or let's say the output of an LED the brightness of an LED etc so PWM is, is a method which has a very very a big scope in uh, industrialization so uh, I would request you guys to take a deep dive into what is pulse width modulation because I, I am just giving you a, a basic overview of how what it is so if the more you deep dive into it the more you understand and the more you will realize the applications of pulse width modulation in uh, industri industrial purposes so next let's jump to the <coughs> code so uh, here I am using the basic example code which is already available in Arduino IDE which is nothing but the example called fade so this is basically a PWM example so as you know we have six PWM pins in uh, Arduino you know those are basically 3, 5, 6, 9, 10 and 11 so in this example I am using the pin number 9 and pin number 11 uh, as PWM output uh, pins and pin number 4 and pin number 7 has been used as the input pins for my L2930 motor driver so basically pin number 4 and pin number 7 are also digital output pins so uh, if you guys are not aware of how an L2930 motor driver works I would request you guys to please uh, watch my tutorial on L2930D which is already available in my channel please watch it and then come back and watch this video because only then you will understand how L2930D motor driver has been used in between the circuit and I wouldn't be explaining the whole scope of L2930D motor driver in this tutorial so before I explain the code I like I'll show you the circuit diagram which I've been used to make the setup here so uh, <coughs> from the you know the PWM 9 pin has been connected to the enable pin number 1 of my L293D and uh, pin numbers 4 and 7 which are nothing but digital output pins are being connected as input 1 and input 2 to my L293D motor driver and the output pin of 5 volts from Arduino you know has been connected as the input for the input voltage for the working of the L2930 motor driver and I have an external power supply which is connected to the L2930 motor driver for the to power up the motor which is on the right side of my circuit so apart from this I have an additional LED which has been connected on pin number 11 which is also a PWM output pin to just demonstrate the change in the brightness of the LED so in this code the output would be like as my LED brightness is increasing the motor speed will be increasing and as LED brightness becomes low or starts diminishing my motor speed will be decelerating so now let's jump on to the code so here I have been using a pin as LED which is nothing but uh, pin number 9 so this code is already existing in the Arduino ID I have just modified it a bit and the brightness is 
uh, the variable which we use to control the brightness we initialize this as zero and fade amount is nothing but the variable which we use to you know increase or decrease the brightness of the LED or increase or decrease the speed of our DC motor in this example so I will be increasing it with the uh, you know unit of five and as I move down uh, in the setup I have declared all the pins which have been used which is nothing but pin number 9, 4, 11 and 7 and I am already keeping digital uh, I mean output of pin number 4 as high and pin number 7 as low for the working of the motor which is so these two pins basically forms the input logic for my L293 motor driver and as I go down when I go to the loop section I am already writing uh, pin number 9 which is nothing but a PWM pin similarly pin number 11 uh, I am outputting the value as brightness so this is basically an analog output value so PWM is not is used basically used to output an analog uh, value in digital waveform so when I say brightness is uh, uh, as between 0 to 255 that corresponds to my duty cycle basically so if I jump back to the PWM explanation here they have mentioned as analog write value of 64. Now 64 is a hex value which corresponds to 25% duty cycle and 127 is x value which corresponds to 57 50% duty cycle and when I give 255 it's nothing but the maximum duty cycle. So uh, the PWM output value which you can give varies from 0 to 255 hex so accordingly you should be giving a value in your code so that's why in the code I'll be giving the brightness value as brightness plus my fade amount which is nothing but 5 and if my brightness value is 0 or 255 that is if it's the minimum or maximum I'll reduce the fade amount value by one unit and I'll put it back to the brightness value so in this code the brightness of my LED or the speed of my DC motor will be first increasing it will reach to the maximum speed and then it will fall back to 0 now I have already connected the setup I hope I, I hope I have explained the code pretty clearly once you start working you'll understand how it is working you can copy paste the same code I'll give you the uh, or you can just copy the paste from this video I mean, just copy the code from this video and do it so next I'll show you the setup which I've made uh, so here I already have my Arduino connected to my PC which is nothing but Arduino you know and as I said the pin number f uh, 4 and 7 is being connected to the as input to my L293 motor driver and the output uh, output has been connected to the DC motor which is already attached with the wheel here and this LED is being connected to my pin number 11 which is something but a PWM output so now I'll power up my Arduino and uh, we'll see the working so as you can see the brightness of my LED is increasing my motor slowly st starts slowly and as the brightness is increasing the motor speed is increasing and now when the LED brightness starts decreasing my motor speed will also be reducing and it will come to a stop as my LED uh, goes off and now my LED brightness has been reduced and is going to be zero and again it's increasing so when the output pulse has enough power to you know rotate the motor the motor will start incre start rotating and as the brightness or as the output pulse width is increasing my motor speed is also increasing as you can see here in this uh, you know experiment setup so that's it that's how the PWM works so now I guess the tutorial is clear and it's enough uh, I would say uh, please comment if you have if you require any clarifications or more details uh, and thanks a lot for watching please 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 encourage me for encourage me more for more tutorials stay connected please subscribe and thanks for watching thanks a lot